In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the process of making microbiome culture plates using uh, bean beetles that have already been surface sterilized. So uh, you should be watching this video after having watched the video on surface sterilization of beetles. In this process, I'm taking sterile saline. Your instructor should have provided you with microfuge tubes of sterile saline and we're measuring out 450 microliters of sterile saline that's going to go into a tube that already contains one surface sterilized bean beetle. So we add the sterile saline to that microfuge tube with the beetle and then of course dispose of your used pipette tip in an autoclave bag and now we're ready to actually grind the beetle in that sterile saline. Next we are going to take a sterile pestle, a sterile plastic pestle. You just I'm showing you one that's in a autoclavable bag. Take it out by the handle, don't touch the tip because it's sterile and we'll put it into that microfuge tube that we've put, uh, that we have a bean beetle with 450 microliters of sterile saline, and we're just grinding up the beetle. We're uh, crushing the beetle and rotating the pestle in the microfuge tube to break up the beetle to get all of the contents that would have been inside the beetle, including the gut contents, into the liquid. That should liberate all of the microbiome bacteria that are in the beetle into that sterile saline. You want to do a reasonably good job uh, grinding it up. And what you'll see is the liquid, the saline, will become cloudy. That's normal. And there will be large particles of the bean beetle exoskeleton, and that's fine. Following the grinding process, we'll use a microfuge, that is a microcentrifuge, to separate the big solid particles from the liquid that contain the bean beetle uh, microbiome. So here's the microfuge. And you're just going to uh, spin the, uh, the tubes for five seconds. It's just a short spin. The, the idea is just to get the large particles to pellet so that you have liquid at the top that contains bacteria that you can plate out. This particular microfuge has a speed that you can set, but really the speed is not important. The idea here is simply to spin uh, the microfuge tubes containing the ground up beetles for a short period of time, five seconds, to pellet the uh, large particles uh, down to the bottom. Um, remember to pair the tubes. You want them to be opposite each other to balance the tubes in the microfuge. And then once you've got it loaded, put on the cap to uh, uh, keep the tubes in place to prevent spraying and uh, spin it for five seconds. Once you've spun the tubes for five seconds, then carefully remove the tubes without shaking them. And you can see that the uh, large particles have pelleted at the bottom. And uh, then you'll be able to draw liquid from the top that should contain the bacteria from the microbiome that was in the digestive tract of your beetle. So again, there is the pelleted bottom. The liquid at the top will contain your bacteria. You will be plating uh, microbiome bacteria on three kinds of plate, nutrient auger, eosine methylene blue, and phenyl uh, ethyl alcohol auger, um, you'll be wanting to plate both full strength 
and one-tenth strength uh, extract. So the initial preparation in 450 microliters is the full strength extract. Um, if you find plates that are contaminated already, um, certainly dispose of them, put them in an autoclave waste bag. Um, uh, the plates you have should have nothing growing on them at this point. And in each case, whether you're plating full strength or one-tenth strength, have those dilutions ready to go. And then the plating actually involves putting 100 microliters of the uh, liquid containing the microbiome bacteria onto a plate and spreading those, uh, spreading that liquid around on the plate using a sterile uh, a spreader. So here I'm pulling 100 microliters from a tube and uh, remember to turn the plate right side up um, and then squirting that 100 microliters directly onto the auger uh, without touching the auger with the tip. And here's a sterile spreader stick. Um, some of you may have reusable uh, metal spreaders that you dip in alcohol and then flame. If you flame it, let it cool before you apply it to the plate and then just gently spread the liquid around on the plate. Once the liquid's been spread on the plate, then you'll be able to incubate it for uh, a day or two uh, and you'll be able to come back and see whether you have bacteria growing. If you make your dilution, the dilution is a one-tenth dilution, that is 10 microliters of full strength and 90 microliters of sterile saline, be sure to use the vortexer to mix the sample after you've put the uh, 10 microliters of full strength uh, into the 90 microliters of saline. Once you've done that, of course, then you can be pipetting uh, again, 100 microliters of the one-tenth dilution onto each plate that you want to culture uh, the microbiome on. We've found that in many of our preparations, uh, we get better results with the one-tenth dilution than we will with the full strength. Diluting the extract allows you to see distinct bacterial colonies much more easily than with the full strength extract. It is possible to use the same uh, spreader stick uh, for multiple plates if the source of the microbiome bacteria is the same. If you're going to use the same stick uh, without flaming it, and you can't flame a plastic stick, start with your negative control, then spread your lower dilutions, then spread your full strength dilution. Last but not least, don't forget, after you plate, uh, that is after you put uh, the liquid onto a plate and you've spread it, make sure you mark the bottom of the plate with the information on what you put on the plate. Put your name on the plate, indicate the date, uh, indicate the source of the microbiome bacteria that have been put on that plate. So if the beetle is a, has a, a particular treatment that came from a particular source, um, mark that information on the bottom of the plate so there's no question about what the source of those microbiome bacteria are from. This concludes the demonstration on making microbiome culture plates. Thank you for watching.